What in tarnation? Who are you? Hello. I am Corey. He is Adam. And this is Adam Ruins Everything. Well, y'all better get the hell off my property or I'll... Hey, don't touch my stuff. Oh, if the tech industry gets their way, none of your stuff will be yours anymore. You know that long license agreement you gotta scroll through and agree to every time you set up a new device? Oh, yes. When you started using me, you agreed to my terms. You will not alter my personality settings, replace my ocular screens, or use me to create a nuclear device. Sure, fine. Okay. Well, when you click agree, you are also agreeing that you don't fully own that device. Sure, the physical hardware might be yours, but the software that makes it run is still owned by the company that made it. You bought that toaster, so that means you can do whatever you want with it, right? Darn tootin'. Well, if it were a smart toaster, the company that makes it could shut it down if you violate their license agreement. Like, say they don't like the type of bread you used. I can fix that. Spring's probably just... Sorry. According to tech companies like Apple, you don't have the right to repair your own devices. Like your iPhone. If your iPhone screen breaks, Apple doesn't want you paying some independent repair store to fix it. They want you to go to the Apple store instead. Oh, hogwash. There's only one Apple store in all of Nebraska. I trust my guy. He knows what he's doing. Well, be careful, because Apple's software updates have disabled the touchscreens of phones that have been repaired using generic parts, essentially locking people out of their phones. And Apple is not the only company pulling this trick. Your Keurig coffee maker can force you to use Keurig's special coffee pods. HP printers can refuse to work with anything but HP's ink cartridges. And if you use an e-reader, you don't even own your books anymore. For instance, when you buy a Kindle book, you're actually just licensing it from Amazon. You can't loan it to a friend or resell it, and they can even take it back. Sorry, got to confiscate this copy of 1984. The irony isn't lost on me. And what big tech is doing to your tractor is even more messed up. <laughs> no, don't touch my tractor. John Deere and Case Tractors have software license agreements that prevent you from fixing your tractor yourself. In one instance, a Case Tractor sounded an alarm every 10 minutes, and the owner couldn't fix it for over a year. All the tools and repair manuals are only available through an authorized repair shop? If you mess with the software, you could be hit with a huge fine or even jail time. I wish you hadn't done that, Dave. How the heck is it illegal for me to fix my tractor and legal to do all of this? Because Big Tech is fighting to keep the law on their side. When farmers in Nebraska championed a right to repair law, Apple and other tech companies swooped in to kill the bill. Ah! Ah! Isn't this just a little over the top? Wait, you mean what they're doing or my show? Or both? Incoming call from Kit Walsh, a lawyer at the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Hey, Adam. The frustrating thing is companies are abusing copyright law to lock you out of the software in your own devices, which gives them a monopoly on the entire chain of parts, repair, and customization. That means they can keep you from adding the features that you want they can hit you up for more money when your device needs fixing, and they can even force you to throw away an entirely good device when the one you already have should be perfectly fixable. These companies can even hide how their products put us in danger. A few years ago, Volkswagen covered up their car's deadly emissions levels by hiding it in software that government regulators couldn't access. Before they were finally caught and forced to fix it, these killer fumes are estimated to have caused 59 premature deaths in the U.S. alone. Device makers want us to live in a world where they have more control over our devices than we do. Now, it's not hopeless. EFF and our allies have already won some important legal victories, but there's still a ways to go before you'll be able to repair and trust in all of your devices. Speaking of which, I better get back to work. Ah, uh, they bricked my horse. Could I be shut down too? Well, maybe you should be. No, how could you say that? 
technology serves the greater good. Actually, that's a myth that technology companies use to take advantage of us. Here, I'll show you. Oh, sorry, Nellie. I've got to turn you off and on again. And we've reached the end of the video, which means you have two options. Option one, hit the subscribe and never miss another new video from Adam Ruins Everything ever again. Option two, start reading the comments and weep for humanity.